Apostolic Christian Assembly Perambur Ministries present Truth for Growth a daily devotional program God bless you as you prayfully listen to this brief biblical teaching for your spiritual growth Now Pastor Adam Samuel Ingerton will bring to you the infallible word of God Greetings to you in the sovereign name of the Lord Jesus Christ for a brief meditation today Let's turn our Bibles to 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 9. He said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Let me explain it to you from the bright perspective. We know the context of this verse very well. Apostle Paul had a thorn in the flesh, and he has got to remove it three times but god said my grace is sufficient for you for my strength is made perfect in weakness what strength in what weakness this is what we are going to learn this morning when apostle paul heard this from the lord immediately he says most gladly i will glory in my weaknesses so that the power of christ may rest upon me friend i call this blessed weakness What I'm going to say to you this morning may appear to be strange to you but this is the truth you may ask me how can a weakness be a blessed weakness how could Paul say that he most gladly glorifies in his weaknesses we will gladly glorify only in good things isn't it was this weakness a good thing yes listen to this carefully he says when i most gladly glorify in my weaknesses the power of christ will rest upon me what kind of weakness he was talking about we always only think of his thorns but we hardly think of his weakness what is this infirmity or weakness that apostle paul is glorifying in does it refer to some sickness or physical weakness or does it refer to some spiritual weakness no it cannot be either because physical weakness or spiritual weakness cannot cause the power of god to rest upon any one what then is this weakness listen to this very carefully only then you will understand this truth when we consecrate ourselves to do only the will of god by grace we receive a unique and blessed weakness the weakness that makes us unable to do our own will we will have no strength at all to do our own will we can call this a glorious weakness or a blessed weakness because this weakness will take us from glory to glory what do we read in second corinthians chapter 13 and verse 4 he was crucified through weakness can you just imagine the lord jesus christ was crucified through weakness can you imagine the weakness of the lord jesus christ what was this weakness It means Christ was weak to do his own will when he was in the flesh when he lived here on this earth as a man. Lord Jesus Christ said in John's gospel chapter 5 and verse 30, I can of mine own self do nothing. Some are mighty to do their own will. Thank God he has not called many mighty. See what Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 26, for he see your calling brethren how that not many wise after the flesh not many mighty not many noble are called when we consecrate ourselves and decide not to do our own will then the grace of god will come with a divine strength on our weak body so that we can do the perfect will of god the divine strength will make us weak to do our own will dear child of god do you have this blessed weakness which the lord jesus christ saint paul and many other saints had if not why don't you consecrate yourself right now to do only the will of god for the rest of your life so that god's strength may be perfected in you so that the power of god may rest upon you so that the grace to do the will of god may be bestowed upon you paul says in second corinthians chapter 12 and verse 10 when i am weak then i am strong what is the meaning of this verse Many believers do not understand this. This means that when we are weak to do our will, we are strong to do God's will. God bestows his divine strength upon us so that we can do God's will. 
Now, how I many of you understand 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9? May the Holy Spirit give us a clear understanding on this and enable us to apply this truth to our lives. God bless you. God be with you. Amen.